Hi, I'm so glad you're here today. We are gonna read Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship by Edward Hemingway. Mac was a good apple. He shared his toys with the other apples, helped Granny Smith pick up after art class, and loved to dive fearlessly into the watering hole. On a sunny day, Mac would bob for hours. On cloudy days, Mac would search for the perfect pillow of green grass and take a long nap. In his dreams, it was always sunny, but one day as Mac lay sleeping, it began to rain. Soon all the little creatures in the earth around him poked their heads out to look for higher ground. Some of them found safety under the large toadstools. Others crawled onto stones and pebbles, but one small worm had another idea. When Mac woke up, he was covered in raindrops and he wasn't alone. You won't believe the dream I just had. A funny little worm was tickling me right here. And now I can't seem to get him. Out of your head? It was you. And that's how Mac met Will. Will showed Mac how to fly a kite, fly himself, and play in the dirt. He loved making a mess. Mac took his new friend to the watering hole to clean off. He couldn't remember a better day until he took Will to the orchard. Look at Mac! He's got worms! Mac's a rotten apple! I'm not rotten, I... quite sweet, actually. So they left. Will cheered Mac up by reading aloud from some of his favorite novels. He was a bit of a bookworm. Mac liked the adventure stories best. He also liked it when Will finished his sentences for him. The most exciting part is when the pirates find treasure in the dirt. But the next day, it happened again. Ha ha ha, that's the bad apple. Ew, worms. And no one in the orchard would play with them. Not even the crab apples. Crab apples can be so mean. Bad apples. That night, the two friends sat alone on the grass without saying a word. In the morning, Will was nowhere to be found. This says, you are a good apple, Will. Mac went back to playing with his orchard friends, diving fearlessly into the watering hole and painting in Granny Smith's class. But nothing was the same. There was a hole in Mac that he couldn't fill. Not a big hole, just a teeny, tiny, little, you know, a small hole, just big enough to fit. And nobody finished his sentences. Mac had to find Will. He searched low and high and in between. In the dirt, around the watering hole, and just when he had given up all hope, he looked up in the sky. Mac knew he'd rather be a bad apple with Will than a sad apple without him. I was hoping I could help me turn the pages. How did you know? Because you will always be a good apple in my book. Good and happy. And there's nothing bad about that.